Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recapping what I painted through the month of June. I did, didn't get any other hobby done, so it's just painting this time. Yeah, it started off as a good month, tailed off towards the end, but we'll cover that in the recap. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so here we are. This is what I've managed to paint this month. It started out really well. First week and a half, two weeks, I managed to get through all the models at the front. I was really proud of that. I then got waylaid with work and apprenticeship stuff and sort of let it slide a little bit, but then I did go and get my Felbies finished, so. Obviously, you've seen my orc, my Moran and Orcs before. They're painted in the same style as I did in the video. I wonder if I can get a mild close up. There we go, that looks a bit better. They are beautiful models. I then painted four of my archers to go with my four spearmen that I painted. And I've got Baragond currently on my painting table, so very soon I'll have a eight model, well I was going to say an eight model, but I think Baragon can only lead six, so three spears, three bows, with Baragon leading them, that'll be fun, but yeah, so that's four archers painted, and obviously if you saw my video for my Dol Amroth, I don't know why I did my Dol Amroth for a video, it was just a fun one, just how I paint them, also really proud of the shield, managed to get the shield done really well, really good, you can just about see how well it looks there. And then later on in the month, I know I needed to paint a fell beast for a campaign that I'm doing over in the Bastion. So shout out to the guys from Bastion. Of current, I'm because I'm I'm playing Harad with them, a sort of a map-based campaign. It's using the Lord of the Rings Risk map, but I'm go I'm going with Harad. Um, so I painted up a fell beast because I wanted to take the Betrayer this time. Uh, I went with a normal captain on or a chief on horse and I upgraded him this time to the betrayer just using a generic ring ray mounted fell beast model plan to at some point paint this guy to look in betrayer colors it's I've got to find out a what they are and B decide if I want this guy to be the betrayer or if I want to use one one of my metal ones because I've got two metal ring rays and um, while I was doing it I also did my witch king on fell beast as you can see his flaming sword is flaming there you go, you can see that quite well there. Let's hope the fell beast doesn't fall off. No, he's going to fall off. But yeah, I haven't glued him to the base. He is completely magnetised. So, magnet in the arse, magnet in the neck, magnet in the wings. I need to get more magnets so I can... I'm thinking of magneti magneting him to the base as well, because otherwise he keeps falling off. Bless him. But yeah, so 13 models at the beginning of the month. Really good. I then slacked a little and managed to get three done. Fell Beast is a big one, as Gimli would say, still counts as one. But yeah, and obviously I've got the spare head from magnetised again, so it's actually got a couple of spare magnets on there because I'm going to magnetise the riders as well so they don't fall off. Really proud with the Fell Beast. I did use the Games Workshop Citadel app. It's got two things it's got battle ready and then like a ward ready or something like that. But I did it to tabletop ready because that's like. I needed it tabletop ready, so I probably will go back eventually. I need to get more paints to do the award ready one. I probably will go back and do all the extra bit eventually. Just finding time and having the paints and the money. But yeah, so that's the uh, three model. That's the sixteen models I've done this month. Two nice easy ones. These lovely things in the front, and then my lovely felt. The felt beast wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be to paint. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but the Citadel lamp makes it a lot easier. But yeah, so we'll come back. So, there you have it guys, uh, not as many models as I wanted to get painted throughout the month, but thanks to a good start to the month, a lot more than I planned to paint. Steam models, um, so very happy with that, very happy with how my Felby turned out. As I said, I did use the Citadel app for it, I did get it tabletop ready, not award ready, so very few colours on it, but I, I planned to get the paints to make it award ready, and then... Get it award ready, maybe? That's a long term goal. But yeah, so I'm looking to smash that number this month. I've already got loads of models on my painting table lined up. I've also got some battle companies coming up soon, so I've got to get a few more bits painted for that as well. Uh, but make sure, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, share and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.